Hello and welcome to another Android 105 video. Uh, this video will be the first uh, tutorial series uh, about making third person shooter. I will try to cover everything you need to make a uh, fully functioning uh, third person shooter. Uh, and uh, it will not be multiplayer replicated. Uh, maybe for another series, but I uh, will make about the replication. So uh, to start with, we will start with making a, a, pro a project. For me, I will start with a blank project so that we can make our own blueprints and learn in the process. Uh, so I will choose blank project and blueprint. And currently, I will not choose the starter content. And let's give our project a name. I will call it beginner. Search person shooter. TPS. <coughs> Create and wait for the engine to load. Now, uh, I will start with some brief information about the editor for the very beginners. If any. Uh, so that the begin the new people to Unreal Engine can start using it. Uh, we'll start with the UI. Here in the above left corner, we have these menus, which are standard in every uh, application in Windows. Here, file you, uh, we can make a new level, open a current level, uh, or open a level, or the existing level. And here, we can save the level and import and export stuff to our project in the edit we can undo uh, things that we done maybe we made a mistake we can undo so we uh, will use the shortcut which is the control and z for the undo and control and y for the redo also for here you can find the project settings and the plugins we will talk about them later here the other windows, here uh, this window, you can find any uh, any of these extensions in here and drag them and put them uh, anywhere you want. So let's maybe we want to, let's see that we want to add details and drag it and put it here. Currently I will not need it. Uh, uh, here in the window you can find the Coxel bridge if you already installed the uh, plugin and the, uh, the marketplace uh, in the tools here I will not use this uh, frequently here in uh, neural engine in the blueprint uh, here build you can build, here you can build lighting uh, and uh, landscape this for building stuff or baking stuff uh, which will already be built uh, when you export your uh, project or when you pack it, package it for uh, maybe distribution now uh, here uh, uh, here we have the selection mode this change between selection and between the landscape, foliage, modes. This will talk maybe later when we try to make uh, our level. Maybe uh, here on the this window is the actor window. You can drag any actor from here and put it in the level. Uh, you will find anything here: maybe actors, characters, bones, collision. Or trigger boxes, lights, here lighting, cinematic stuff, shapes, anything, any actor you will find him. Uh, here on the right side, we have the outliner, uh, which uh, displays uh, with the content of your map. Anything in your map will be shown here. Here you can 
delete it, you can change it, you can edit this actor. Uh, and here the detail uh, menu or window uh, shows you the, the, the properties and details of any actor that you are selecting currently. You can change the location, rotation, anything about the actor. And here are the world settings. Uh, the world setting we will only uh, we are interested in this game mode override. When you set, uh, when you have a game mode, you can set it here. Uh, maybe you make a uh, game mode for every uh, map. You can set it here to override the uh, global game mode. Also, here this is the content, the lower part, the content browser. Here you will find the content of the engine and your project. Your project content will be here under this content folder. And uh, sometimes we need uh, to import uh, uh, some content from uh, the standard content that came come with Unreal Engine. Here you can either pixel content or add a feature. You can import anything or add anything you want. Your feature, maybe you want a uh, first person uh, project or third person uh, anything or content. Sometimes you want the starter content. For now, I will not add anything. For me, I will start from scratch. I will start to make everything we need, like the characters, the inputs. I will not use the already made uh, character or input that is already made in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, so let's start uh, first by making uh, our first blueprint. First, let's make a new folder and the, and the content. Let's call it beginner TPS. Open the folder and here also make another folder for blueprints. Now, here in this folder, let's make our first blueprint. Let's make our character. So you uh, press the right mouse button and go to the blueprint class. And here you choose the blueprint that you want to make. Uh, here, these are the parent classes. These are the main parent classes of Unreal Engine. The actor is the most basic uh, class. Uh, which is cannot be controlled by a controller. Uh, basically, it is the uh, anything in your level. Maybe it's a projectile, or it is a door that you can open, or a light you interact with. Basically, it's anything that not that does does not move either by control of the player or by AI control. Let's open the actor and see what's uh, its content. Here is the actor blueprint. You open it. You can see it is an empty, an empty blueprint. You can make it to anything you want. Uh, we use actors, like I said, uh, to basically everything in the level is an actor, except for the player character or the AI controlled uh, enemy or anything AI controlled. Uh, now I will not make uh, anything with this actor, let me delete it. And let's open the pawn class. The pawn class, uh, the difference between the pawn and the actor that the pawn can be controlled by or possessed by a controller like AI or player. So if you want to make uh, something controllable maybe a vehicle or an airplane or a drone you can make you choose the pawn so if you choose the pawn and open it also it is an empty but here you can control it by AI controller here you have the controller class but in the actor you do not have the controller class Also, let me delete this. We do not need it. Now, let's go to our to the character. Here, the character. 
Well, the difference between the pawn and the character, basically they are the same, but the character is a modified pawn class, uh, which has the default mesh and collision and uh, character movement already set up for you. So let's choose it. Well, let's call it BP player. Let's open it. Now, like you, like you see, we have the capsule component, this arrow to show us the direction, the front frontal direction of the our character, and the mesh class, uh, the character mesh here. Also, this character movement component. Let me change it to save always. Now, let's start uh, making our class. First, we need to import some uh, character mesh that we can add here so let's add uh, char our character mesh uh, for me uh, we need to go to the uh, epic game launcher and go to library if you already added the uh, free assets for me let's find Uh, maybe what is called black or silver maybe can't remember the military, military character silver uh, well you you can add it from the marketplace look for it put it in the marketplace it is in the permanently free uh, content so let's add it to our project if you get this because we are using the Unreal Engine 5 and it is for only for Unreal Engine 4 so we uh, choose show all projects and choose our beginner third person shooter and change the version to the latest one available and add to project wait for it to complete Now that we have uh, the content added to our uh, project, we go back to our uh, project and find the asset here. Here we have this character. Which is already compatible with uh, and, uh, the UE, the Unreal Engine mannequin. So let's go to our uh, blueprint and add the skeletal mesh here. Find this uh, modern world meal, this style one meal. <coughs> now uh, we need to change its position. So change, let's change the perspective to right and drag it down to the base of the capsule I think that's enough and then maybe we need to make the capsule slightly bigger make it maybe 90 sorry or 92 and let's drag our mesh down uh, let's disable the snapping or make it to one grid size to one. I think we need to make it bigger in the capsule, maybe 95 better. Okay, 95 is better. Drag him down. That's it. Also, we need to rotate the character by 90 degrees to make it face the forward axis of the uh, of our ca character uh, blueprint. Minus 90. Now we have our basic character. Uh, 
well because we need to control the character we need first uh, add a character uh, sorry we need to add a camera and a spring gun let's uh, first choose the mesh because uh, or uh, sorry the capsule i will make it attached to the capsule uh, we need to add go here and press add we need first spring arm spring arm well the spring arm uh, it's uh, the thing that holds the camera in place and they said we can change its uh, length and offset uh, however we want to give us the uh, view that we, we like here uh, and also key, uh, press on the spring arm we add our camera uh, for me so the spring arm I will change the uh, circuit offset first let's make it 400 the spring arm target length and the socket I will make it maybe 150 and the Z axis and maybe 50 in the Y. I think that is a better. Let's uh, let me try. Let's check our uh, character. Uh, first, we need to make uh, game mode, a game mode uh, class uh, the game mode is the blueprint that uh, holds the rules of the game and uh, uh, also holds the type of the character used in the game and the player controller uh, so we need to uh, let's make this game mode base we call it GM underscore my game mode and let's open it and here we need to choose the default font class and uh, make it our the character that we made dp player and that's it we not need it now also let's go to the project settings and choose our the game mode that we made so that when we load the project again it will be set as a default uh, game mode uh, also for the map let's save this map save current map as let's make a new folder for the map sorry uh, Deleted. Let's make it inside the beginner tutorial. Map. Open it and here call it my map. And save it. Also, let's go back to the uh, project settings here and put our map here. My map here and also here so that when we load our project again we will start with our map now uh, let me go there by clicking right click and snap object to view oh sorry a view to object this transfer us instantly to the uh, actor that we were selecting so let's play, press start and see what's happening now we have our uh, character and uh, our camera is functioning uh, now what we need is to add our controls and, and uh, our controls to uh, try control the uh, player character uh, let's make here a new folder, call it input. Here in the input, we need uh, 
we need a mapping context and input action the mapping context let's call it inc my context or uh, name it whatever you want for me I'll, I'll continue naming everything as my uh, to differentiate it from other content in the engine and the project we need to add like I said uh, input action called IA here uh, for uh, input we need uh, controls for the forward and backward and for the right and left and for the mouse movement so the first one I will uh, make is the move forward let's open it and change the value type to axis 1d load because we want to make input axis uh, for the movement we use input axis for the other uh, actions like maybe shooting or uh, jumping or crouching we use bool digital bool value I, I will show you when we advance in our project and now let's duplicate the uh, move forward and call it move right also we need the mouse movement also duplicate this and call it uh, look up the same we duplicate it call it turn we look up for the mouse looking up and down and the turn for the mouse looking uh, horizontally right and left so now we open our context this uh, what I'm doing here is only applicable to Unreal Engine 5 but if you are using Unreal Engine uh, the early Unreal Engine 5 you should go to the plugins here and activate the enhanced the enhanced input plugin but if you are using 5, Unreal Engine 5.2 and above this will be uh, activated uh, now that we completed making our input action, now let's implement them in the context. Here, first let's make the uh, lookup for the mouse. Uh, we choose the uh, mouse for the vertical, uh, it is the y axis. And for the horizontal, let's choose the turn, and it is the uh, x axis. And for the movement, And here this should be move forward. Uh, for the forward movement, which is the W P and add another uh, control binding. We choose here the S for the moving uh, backward and we need to make a modifier. This modifier is the negate modifier. To make it give us a negative value also let's add another mapping for the move right uh, we choose the, for the right movement which is the D button and for the left movement we choose the A button uh, for the A sorry and also for the A we need a modifier, it is also the negate modifier. And before we implement our uh, controls in the character, we need to add a player controller so that we implement the uh, mapping context in the controller. And uh, in the Unreal Engine project, for the person, uh, they implement it in the character and the unit name. But maybe you want to have multiple characters, so you do not need to re-implement it again on your new character. So I will make it in the player controller, controller um, because it is, uh, uh, let's say, we do not change the player controller frequently, so it will be uh, fixed. We do not uh, need to implement 
the controls again in every character we make. So let's go to PC. My player controller. Now let's open it. Here we go to the begin the play. We look for the enhanced input subsystem. Let's remove the tick or not it. We are, uh, uh, look for add mapping context. And we choose our mapping context. Now let's go to uh, the game mode to implement our uh, player controller in the game mode here change this to my player controller now let's exit this windows is not medium now let's go to our uh, character first let's do the input action uh, move forward and move right input action move right for the move forward we need uh, add movement input. Here we need the forward direction of the uh, character. So uh, we need first the rotation, the control rotation, to make the character move in the direction that is that. Uh, let's say you are. Uh, Pointing the camera to the left side and you move forward so the character moves to the left side or move uh, move uh, in the forward direction from the rotation of the from the control rotation. So we need control rotation, get control rotation and break the pin. Here we need the uh, forward vector get forward vector and put it in the word direction also break the pin we need only the z view and connect this action value to the scale value Now let's try. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go to the world settings. Uh, sorry, we need to set up the camera and the spring arm. Here we choose the capsule and add spring arm that holds the camera in place. And also press on the spring arm and add camera. The spring arm, I will change its length, make it 450. And here the socket offset, I will make it go up by 100 and go to the right by 25. So it will be like this, slightly offset to the right and up and right. So it's like uh, shooting over the shoulder of the character. Now let's uh, let's try. Double yeah, it's going forward, backward. Now it is okay. Now let's uh, implement the go right. Uh, here we duplicate the add input movement by using Control and B. And here we connect to the trigger part. Uh, here also we need controller ro control rotation, but we need the right vector of the, the right vector to so connect to the road direction. Here we need the roll and the yo things only. Also connect the value. The axis value to the scale. Let's uh, test. Now we have the character turned right and left. 
forward backwards now let's uh, add the camera movement first go to the spring arm and make it use control rotation use point control rotation so input action turn and here we need input action okay. look up now for the turn we need the uh, add control rotation yo and for the look up add control rotation pitch so that the uh, spring arm will take the control rotation values so let me show you now our turning uh, the mouse we need to uh, reverse the values for it because we need to invert or for me I will leave it like this now I will make it reverse we we'll go to the input context and go to the mouse look up and here in the modifiers add the negate modifier now it is better move forward and turn um, I will stop at this point at the next video we will complete our character and make it jump and, uh, and add some animations for the character some basic animations and uh, try to finish our project thank you for watching thank you very much goodbye